Hello everyone, I will present our work, Occlusion Robust Face Alignment Using a Viewpoint Invariant Hierarchical Network Architecture. Although great effort has been devoted to face alignment, the localization accuracy remains unsatisfactory under various occlusions. Especially, wearing medical masks is compulsory in public places due to the COVID-19 pandemic, resulting in the severe occlusion problem and posing huge challenges for facial landmark localization. In Figure 1, we visualize the prediction results of general neural networks on masked faces, where noticeable shape distortion and drift can be seen. There is the fact that facial landmarks describe the geometric topology of face structure, which inherently possess viewpoint invariant hierarchies. The hierarchies are not disturbed by any external occlusions and thus can be considered to be powerful clues for structural reasoning. Therefore, we argue that exploring neural networks to model facial hierarchies is a more promising method for dealing with extreme occlusion. To achieve this, we follow face topology to divide the structure of a face into a viewpoint invariant hierarchy with five levels, as shown in Figure 3, and design a new network architecture based on the hierarchy. In this work, we propose a viewpoint invariant hierarchical network architecture, termed GLOMFACE, to achieve occlusion robust face alignment. GLOMFACE parses human faces into part whole hierarchies and models the viewpoint invariant spatial relationship between parts and a whole as the coordinate transformation. The proposed GLOMFACE draws inspiration from the hierarchy of facial structure, which has a clear topological interpretation due to its correspondence to this hierarchy. It consists of two modules part whole hierarchical module, PHM, and whole part hierarchical module, WHM, as shown in Figure 4. The former captures the part whole hierarchical dependencies of facial parts to suppress multi scale occlusion information, whereas the latter injects structural reasoning into neural networks by building the whole part hierarchical relations among facial parts. The overall network architecture is shown in Figure 5. Specifically, a face image is cropped as shape index patches surrounding the initial landmarks with a fixed index order. These patches are first sent into the PHM, and then it captures the short-range spatial dependencies within each patch. These patch-level dependencies can suppress the small-scale occlusion information. As the hierarchies get higher, PHM gradually enlarges the range of the spatial dependencies by part combining and thus handles the larger-scale occlusion. The part combining merges the low-level facial parts into the high-level parts by following the part-whole hierarchies until all patches are combined into a whole. When PHM outputs a whole representation with part-whole hierarchical dependencies, the whole part hierarchical module, WHM, starts to build the whole part hierarchical relations by representation disentangling according to the whole part hierarchies. To achieve this, WHM hierarchically disentangles the representation of high-level facial parts into the representations of its internal lower-level facial parts. In this operation, whole-part hierarchical relations are built between face parts at the same level and between high- and low-level face parts. WHM finally disentangles each neighborhood-level representation into the offset of a specified local shape. The predicted offsets update the landmarks and the position of shape index patches where we build a non-local block to perform the capturing of spatial dependencies across patches. It computes the response at a position as a weighted sum of the features at all positions. The representation disentangling is inspired by the relational network. The detailed network architecture of the whole part hierarchical module is shown in figure 6. It is clear to observe how our model disentangles the whole representation hierarchically into the offsets of local facial shapes. We show comparison results of the proposed GLOM face with state-of-the-art methods in Table 1. Experiments show that our GLOM face achieves the best performance compared with all regressor-based models. And we can see that GLOM face performs comparably to the best heat map-based model. Moreover, these SOTAs are all based on pre-existing backbone networks such as HNET, HRNET and SANET, and thus are incremental works. Our approach features a new backbone network with potential for further improvement. On mast 300W, our GLOMFIS outperforms existing methods by a large margin. Some qualitative results of the proposed GLOMFACE on mast 300W are illustrated in Figure 8. The proposed GLOMFACE can efficiently reason facial structure under extreme occlusion. Finally, there are some important references that will be of great help in understanding our work. If any questions, please email the authors.